Hi everybody, this is Anthony from xanthonyjohnson.com and I just want to go over this new tool that I found. It's called Loomly and what it does is it's a social media calendar tool that allows you individuals and team members to post content on their favorite social media sites like Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram, Google Plus, and uh, even Pinterest also. Now, I just want to go over a few things on the dashboard here. And this is what they call the uh, calendars. And the calendars are where you get to create your calendars. And you get to, uh, that's where you get to schedule out your content. On the post review here, let's say if you was working with team members or anything, this is where you can see where the post is pending for approval, uh, requires editing. Uh, you can see if it's approved, it's a schedule. So if y'all are doing some edits with team members, y'all can collaborate on that and get that all taken care of and you can publish. So it's just showing you an overview of all the content uh, here. Now in the comment section, this is where y'all also, you if you collaborate with somebody that if y'all have a designer or somebody who's working on something, they can give you tips or comments or stuff like that what they're working on y'all can communicate back and forth on here and in here this is where you can invite somebody like the designer to help you uh, design your images and stuff and then if you may be working on the content so you can send an invite to them and the post ideas this is where Loomly they have tips and inspiration ideas that you can post and you can even have RSS feeds and also uh, Twitter trends. You can also have those uh, included in there also. And then you have the uh, help section, which you got the tutorials, the uh, FAQ, the uh, password reset and support. And then you have on the radar. And this is where you have important content that needs to get out. So it's making that uh, known that you should look at this content. Now let's go into the uh, calendar section here. Let's click on new calendar. Now when you're creating a new calendar, you want to name this calendar something that you can recognize it with, with the business that you are working on. So now if you're working for somebody, you want to make sure that you maybe put their business name in there or their brand that they represent in there so that you can make sure that you are working on the right calendar. And you got the uh, time zones. So make sure you put the right time zone in. You got the industry that you're working. Uh, you even have a well, you can put a logo on here. So if that uh, company uh, business has a logo, to make sure that you're working on the right calendar, you can also add in the logo. And then you just hit create calendar. Now let me go look at the calendar that I already created. Now this is my calendar right here that I've already created. Let's just click on here and go inside of there. Now in here you can see that I already got content that I've already done scheduled out and then posted. And this is kind of give you like a little overview of the content that you already got uh, scheduled out or posting. And in the uh, calendar view, when you click here, so what it does is it's giving you like an overall like a 30 day like a calendar view and it's showing you that content that you've already scheduled out and it also have an option here if you look at this green plus sign that I'm about to click on here now what this does is let's say if you have uh, a book or something that is coming out and you just want to make like a quick note to remind yourself like oh yeah make sure to create some announcements or something I got my book coming out where you can just put in a subject there and put the time in and then just click quick add right there and that'll keep you uh, on your mind that you need to create some content for that so let's go do a post here so let's click on a post now date and time now this is particular what I like is because what you can do here now this is a quick tip here now if you are a Facebook group admin 
this is very important because you want to look at this date and time and whenever you're posting content out you want to get the most engagement that you can and how you do that is just posting at the right time when your audience is online when they're engaging with content the most but this is how I use uh, Roomly for Facebook group so you can go to in the Facebook group and what you want to do is you want to go to the group insights now if you have this and you are an admin this is great because now you can look at the engagement and see now when you clicking on this right here on the more engagement details it's showing you all the engagement within the last 28 days now you can change this if you like you got the last seven days or you can go to the last uh, 60 days or you can do a custom and what I do is I scroll down and I go to the most popular days so it look like Monday is the most popular day and when I go to the uh, times on uh, times on Monday and make sure you have this set on Monday also because you got other days right there you want to look at the post comments and reactions so what it looks like is around 10 11 12 12 o'clock is when a.m. is when I'm getting the most engagement from the audience and the members so now that I know this I'm gonna go back to Loomly and that's when I'm going to set my content so let me look at the calendar real quick so on the 19th, that's Monday, that's coming up. So I will set it on Monday, 19th, and I want to set it to 12 a.m. So now I got my content set when I'm going to get the most engagement. So let's go to my website real quick. Now that I'm on my website, I want to get some content that I think that my audience might be very interested into. So this is what you can do so now that you're here you just want to maybe copy the title here and go back to Loomly and this and in the subject here that's what you want to you're the only one that's going to see that so don't worry about that getting it's not going to be published or anything like that it's going to be inside of your Loomly account this is only for you so you can put to identify the content you can just put the the subject right there and labels in the labels here this is where you can kind of identify certain content now when I click on labels here you can create a label and the ones that I've created is the blog posts and the weekly marketing webinars so and you can click you can create any kind of label that you want but those ones that I created kind of know it kind of where that content is coming from or what kind of content I need to be posting I know uh, where it's at so this came from my blog so I'm going to label it as blog and I'm gonna hit to continue now this is where you can pick your uh, platforms that your social media platforms that you want to post that content up on so I'm going to put uh, Facebook let's do LinkedIn and let's do Google Plus and let's hit continue now in this section here this is where you can in the copy section right here you can post in a little bit of copy uh, content that you want uh, to show up on your post so I'm just for time sake I'm just going to just copy a little bit of content here and let's post that in here now you also can use hashtags in here also so let's do a hashtag 
let's do uh let's do website traffic now this is just for demonstration purposes only i probably will use some better hashtags and also you what you want to do is you want to get your url so you just copy that paste and post that in paste that in and what roomly this did is they also have a url shortener now what this does is Lumi has uh, analytics. Now they got basic analytics and they got advanced analytics. Now the basic analytics is going to just look at the likes and the shares and comments. And advanced analytics is going to be the one where it's going to look at like where that traffic is coming from, like what country the traffic is coming from. So you get a whole lot more detailed information in the advanced analytics. Now that depends on uh, which plan that you uh, get that you will be able to see that data now on the image you can click here and you can pull an image from your hard drive or you can use this here I like using this one you can import it from a URL now what you do is how to use this one here you just uh, click here and you just click on your image and then you just take this URL here you pop it out one and you just import for URL and you just I can paste that in there and click import. And what it's going to do is it's going to pull that image uh, from my um, from the servers that I have. So and that's it. Now, if you want to, now you can just hit upload file, upload a uh, video also if you like. So you're just going to hit continue. Now in this section here. Uh, it's showing you like a preview of how it's going to look on the social media platform. So you can kind of see how it looks. Now, I normally remove the uh, link review and it's going to pull the image that I just uploaded just a while ago. And there it goes. So that's how the image is going to look. This is how the post is going to look on Facebook. Now, just to make sure, you want to double check make sure that's a.m. and make sure it's 12 okay 12 a.m. on 19 now the great thing about this is that when I change this right here and it's saying 12 a.m. on the 19 I can I can do a different time on different platforms so like google plus let's say if i don't want to go out on twitter i want to go out maybe let's say two o'clock i can just change that to 2 p.m because i think that that might be a better time for to post that content now if you got if you've been posting on Google Plus and you've seen when you get more engagement, then you can change the time on, on these platforms. All of them don't have to be the same time. They don't all have to go out on the same time. Now, on LinkedIn, you know, I might want to post it on a later date. Now, if you've been posting on LinkedIn and you know when you're getting the most engagement or if you uh, read some kind of statistics stuff where it's showing you that it's better to post at a later time, use that time see now i might post this at maybe let's just do this one at four o'clock and this was just for demonstration let's do four o'clock okay so and that's uh that's about it now it they also normally has information on when you should post and stuff it, it looks at your copy the date time uh copy engagement copy uh readability and also the image now if you want to go by their settings you can it's right here below you can check that out and that's about it so i'm pretty happy with that and 
that is about it so we'll just click continue and that's it now these buttons here you can save it as a draft if you need to go back and make some adjustments if you think you need to change anything or the content or add in more uh, hashtags you can do that or you can submit it for approval now if you are working for someone and that's where you will get to submit for approval and also you have the schedule so this is the one that you want to post if you're just you know posting content on your social media platforms you're not really working for anybody else or anything you just hit schedule and you'll be good to go or you can just hit publish now and that will publish the post on all the social media now so what i'm gonna do is hit schedule and that's it now the content is ready to go and as you can see down here below that it's going to go out on facebook on the 19th at uh 12 a.m and on google plus it's going to go out on the 19th at 2 p.m and on linkedin it's going to go out on the 19th at uh 1 13 p.m so that's how you use Yumu. and let's look at it on the uh, calendar view now on the calendar view you just come down and you can see it right here see on the 19th is scheduling to go out you got facebook you got google plus linkedin and it's also telling me that this is a blog post so there you go if you want to get more time back with your family and friends and you just want to schedule content you can schedule your whole content for a whole month and just look at the engagements keep up with the engagement but you can do this and this is going to save you so much time in your business or if you even working uh with somebody or something you know or if you're working uh you can just use this tool right here to where if you're working for somebody you know you can just schedule that content with them or if somebody's working for you you can send out an invite to them to collaborate with you and help them let them do your social media and post it for you so this is a absolutely a uh, great tool to be using in your business and if you're a social media manager you know uh you're gonna love this tool because now you can get all of your clients content done and have them review it have them approve it and you you're done you can get your time back so guys i hope you like this uh information i hope it's very helpful uh if you're looking for a, a social media calendar tool to use inside of your business uh come check this one out it's called loomly and that's about it i uh, hope y'all guys like and comment this and if you got any kind of uh questions make sure you drop them in the comment section okay guys y'all have a great day thanks for watching